Creating skybox textures is not an easy task. If you want to create HDR textures, you will need a tool called HDR Shop, which is hard to find. So, I am making this guide which contains prefabs and the tools required to create skyboxes. First, you need Blender and a sky setup. I made a prefab which contains the camera to render everything, a sphere for rectangular environment textures, and a T assembly skybox. You also got a dome where you can paint your own skybox. You could also just make your very own terrain and render out the finished scene you made yourself. In my case, I will render a skybox from the game Spyro Year of the Dragon. Someone required help with it and I figured I might as well record it. I put my texture onto one of the spheres I've prepared. Make sure that the horizon of your texture is on the zero height point in Blender. That is where the red and green line meet. Render it out by pressing the Render button in the Render tab. The render process renders all six sides, one after another. This process might take a few minutes depending on how large your pictures are. The reason we need to render it in Blender in the first place is that if you do not render it onto a sphere, the skybox will not look like a realistic sky, but more of a box that has the sides painted. You can clearly see where the edges of the skybox are. Once the render is done, you can export the render in the Camera Cube Texture tab. This will give you one texture with all six sides on it. In the download, you will find a Photoshop prefab where you can simply paste your texture and start editing it. You need to flip all pieces horizontally and then rotate the down face by 90 degrees clockwise and the up face by 90 degrees counterclockwise. Since the ground is rarely seen, you can get away with making this part a really small texture to save space, unless you really must see the ground in your map. In my case, the ground might be seen in some maps, so I will keep the texture large even though it is mostly a solid color. After you flipped and rotated the faces, you can separate every piece into its own TGA texture named after your skybox, followed by the two letter face suffix. For example, name underscore LF for the left side. The suffixes are on the guide picture I provided as well. It does not have to be a TGA file, just anything besides VTF, because we need something to import into HDR shop later. Targa is just my favorite texture format as it is lossless. You can either make up your own skybox name for your own custom maps or pick an already existing name from your game if you want to make a skybox replacement mod. Once you got all six sides separated into TGA files, you can convert them all into VTF format. You can use VTF edit to batch process them. After you batch created the VTF files, you need to open the six sites in VTF edit yet again and apply a few flags. 
those flags being clamp S, clamp T, anisotropic, no MIP map, and no level of detail. Now you got the low dynamic range textures. You can paste them into your Skybox texture folder now or later when you made the VMT files. Now we still need to create the high dynamic range textures. That is why we need HDR Shop. Open HDR Shop and paste the six TGA textures onto it. It asks you for a gamma curve. You can play around with it if you like. I honestly have not yet found a good number, so I will just scoot it to the left a tiny bit. You just want the texture to be a bit brighter, but not too bright. You're going to bake the HDR effects onto the texture. After applying the gamma curve to all faces, you need to export every texture as a portable float map. Do this by clicking File, Save As, Portable Float Map. Save these in the HDR stuff folder from the downloaded file or make a new folder and then paste the content from the HDR stuff folder into the folder you've just made. Once you have exported the textures as PMF files and the HDR stuff folder content is in the same folder, you need to edit the existing TXT file name from the HDR stuff to match with your PMF file name, but do not remove the HDRXY suffix. Then you need to edit the PMF file name to include the HDR suffix before the site suffix. So in my case, sky underscore spook underscore HDRLF. In this recording, I forgot to do that so you will see me do it again after trying to run the batch file. If you are lazy, I recommend you a tool called Renamer. It can be used to rename many files at once. In my case, I can simply swap the placeholder Skybox name with my own. After renaming the files, edit the bat file as well. We need to edit the Skybox texture name, the game path, the game subfolder, which is not required but recommended if you like keeping custom from original content apart, and optionally the Skybox texture folder name. Once everything is changed to your liking, you can run the bat file. Like I mentioned, I forgot to include the HDR part to the PMF file names. Anyways, this process will turn the PMF files into the actual HDR Skybox textures, which you can find in the folder you decided by editing the bat file. It will also create texture files with a pwl.vtf extension, which you can delete because the game has no use for them. All you have to do now is edit the prefab VMT files that I provided. Change the name, but make sure to keep the suffixes, and then change the texture specified within the VMT files. If you have Notepad++, you can open all VMT files at once and change the texture names in all files at the same time. Now we have the low dynamic range textures, the high dynamic range textures, and the VMT files. Now all we have to do is put them into the correct game folder and then apply them to a map. In Hammer, the Skybox name is in the map properties. Make sure that the HDR suffix will be there, but without a specific face suffix after the HDR. And that's all there is to making your own skyboxes. I hope this guide was useful for you. If you would like to, you can subscribe to my channel to keep updated with my newest tutorials or mods. If you don't want to, that's okay, because I post all my guides on the Steam Guide section as well. Either way, good luck modding, have a nice evening.